Hello everybody, my name is Helen O'Donnell and you're all very welcome to Skull Crease 3. that every student has a voice and wants to be heard. Unfortunately, not every school develops that voice. Here at Skull Creek Street, we encourage every single student to find their voice and to express their opinions, while always re respecting the opinions and thoughts of others. So one of the best things about working here at Skull Creek Street is seeing a shy, timid first year emerge and develop into a strong, confident woman, ready to take on the challenges of life outside. This happens because in every facet of life, they see how this school cherishes values like respect, diversity and equality. Values that we believe are more important today than ever before. For those students who are ready to take the next step, leadership opportunities are everywhere to be found. Every captain of every team, every committee member, every chairperson, every prefect and vice prefect, every head girl, every deputy head girl that's ever been in the school has been a female voice who has been encouraged you, to develop you. here at Skull Creek Street. As six years, as they prepare to leave and enter the working world, because of their development here at Skull Creek Street, they don't hope to be heard. They expect and they demand to be heard. Hi, my name is Maya Walker and I've just started my first year here. So far, my time at Skull Creek Street has presented so many new opportunities and experiences. I've had the chance to try a whole new range of subjects I never got to in primary school, like technology, business, French, and already they've become some of my absolute favourites. The teachers are such a big help in making every lesson interesting and enjoyable. The sports here have also piqued my interest. There's so many to try and you don't have to be good at them to partake. As well as sports, there's lots of clubs and committees so everyone can get involved. And of course, I've had such fun meeting new people and making new friends in the past few weeks. Even though it was a big change, the metal leaders helped make the transition from primary to secondary so much easier. I know I've only been in the school a few weeks, but I can already tell I'm going to love my next six years here at Skull Creek Street. Hi, my name is Leona and I'm a first year student in Skull Creek Street. I started back in late August and ever since I've loved it. Of course starting I was very nervous, but the metal girls and teachers have helped me make new friendships and start new subjects. Speaking of subjects, uh, you might not get to focus on the subjects that you love or you want to focus more on in primary school, but in secondary you have one hour of all subjects between the week, including choice subjects. Speaking of choice subjects, you get to choose whatever you want, which is one of my favourite things about it, along with the language, which is really exciting because you wouldn't normally learn a new language in primary school. Another great thing about our school is sports. There's many sports activities that you can do, do, or if you aren't a sports lover, there's many curricular activities such as the debate team. Or maybe you aren't someone who's into club, clubs or teams, but that won't stop you from having a great experience in Skull Cruise Street. Hi, my name is Tara Kennedy. I'm a first year student here in Skull Cruise Street. I was really nervous before I started because I was coming from a small primary school, but then on the first day as I was walking in, I met my Mahal leaders. They were so bubbly, friendly and kind. They really helped all of us break the ice and get to know each other. I've met so many new friends in such a short space of time and I'm genuinely so happy here. I'm really enjoying all the new subjects and all the teachers are so lovely and encouraging. My favourite option subject is technology because it's such a fun practical class. We get to move around the classroom and also do loads of projects. My favourite core subject is geography. It's so interesting learning about our environment and different natural occurrences. I love how the teacher makes it more fun by doing cahoots and classroom games. One of the main reasons I wanted to come to the school was for the sport. I would encourage all the first years to try a sport. You'll meet so many new friends through it. I play camogie and Gaelic football. The facilities and trainings are fantastic. If you're not interested in the sport, there's lots of other options for you. For example, choir, student council and debate team. There's something for everyone. To be honest, it has surprised me how much I'm enjoying being in an all-girls school. So don't be turned off by boys being there, it's so much more fun without them. Well, outside of just the academic subjects in the school, we have a huge variety of extracurricular available to the girls. We have basketball, we have Gaelic football, we have soccer, we have camogie, volleyball, athletics and badminton. 
and we have a huge uptake in those sports and it's really enabled LCP, Leaving Cert P, to be a huge success in the school. Two players out, uh, ball to the half of the line, Shin will lead in. Two v one, Shin will lead. Okay, look at that early pass of it there. Um, we've had huge um, wins in All-Ireland Finals in the last few years in Senior A Gaelic, Senior A Soccer and Senior A Basketball. And it's really a community effort. All the teachers, the family, the students, the management on, on All-Ireland Day in the stands cheering us on makes a huge difference. And we have a saying in school history, SCR stands for Spirit, Commitment and Resilience. And the girls show all that in abundances uh, when they perform for the school. My name's Anna Healy and I'm just finished studying physiotherapy in the University of Limerick. I finished in Skullcree Street in 2016 and I have to say my experience here in Skullcree Street was just fantastic. Um, I suppose in terms of how Skullcree Street shaped me I found that the environment in Skullcree Street was always so positive and encouraging and I always felt so supported by the staff and the teachers and even the other pupils here in this school and I suppose really encouraged to step outside your comfort zone knowing that you had that circle of support around you. Um, there are so many opportunities here in Skullcree Street I suppose there are a huge range of extracurricular activities I wouldn't even know where to start and especially I suppose the transition year programme as well gives you the opportunity to get out into the community, experience different areas of work and social awareness issues. Um, I always had a really positive relationship with the teachers and I found that they were always really approachable and if there was any issues, if I needed extra help with anything or for example if there's any issue outside the classroom that they were always ready to listen and they were so empathetic and sincere in their approach to resolving whatever issue it was. And I love now when I bump into people, you know, outside on the street or wherever it is, when I bump into the teachers we always have a great catch up and I think it's so nice and it's testament to the environment in Skullcree Street that we're able to do that because of such the, the positive environment that was fostered here. Um, I always got on really well with all the other pupils in the school as well and I suppose by being involved in all the extracurricular activities um, you make friends like across a huge different range of people who are interested in different things and it's just fantastic to have such a wide circle of support around you. Um, so many leadership opportunities within Skullcree Street, I mean from the Prefect and Vice Prefect roles, the Student Council, Mehel, Goshka, the John Paul II awards, being deputy head girl or head girl, and but that's not all. Like not just those particular roles. I mean, there are so many other things you can do, like getting involved in coaching a younger sports team in the school or helping younger girls maybe who are taking on debating for the first time. And they're all really important leadership roles too. And I found that I suppose the exposure to being a leader that I had in School Creek Street through a few different roles, like um, I suppose I was deputy head girl in sixth year and captain of the football team and. Um, but those roles just really kind of get you ready for being a leader later on in life and you learn how to deal with you know different personalities and work within a team and I just think that the experience within and outside the classroom in School Crew Street has just been fantastic and has given me so much for going forward in life. My name is Grace O'Brien and I'm a former student of School Crew Street. I'm just gone into my first year of college in NUI Galway and I'm studying law and criminology and an Irish diploma on the side. I really feel that my time in School Creek Street led me to my current uh, course choice. Um, law firstly because in School Creek Street they really promote the student voice 
Um, entering the school as a shy first year, I found that the all girls environment, despite stereotypes about it, really built my confidence because the girls in the school, they all support each other and they, there's an ethos here that is um, warm and friendly and we all look out for each other. Um, I was involved in many things such as debating committee, um, student council, Mehel and deputy head girl, which all allowed me to have my own voice and to form opinions on things, which really led me to picking law. We have a Gwail Bratok here in the school, which is in English the Irish flag uh, committee and there's a real focus on it in promoting the Irish language, which probably led me to choosing the Irish diploma. But the biggest thing I'll miss is actually um, a project we run here called Mehel, in which the sixth years look after the incoming first years. Um, I think it's a really positive thing, it promotes that kind of ethos we have here in that the oldest year are nearly like big sisters to the youngest year and I think that really shows what our school is all about, that we all look out for each other here and we create a warm and welcoming atmosphere. In my final years of the school following TY, your relationship with the teachers changes, they become less teachers and more mentors, the people you can go to for help if you're ever in need and I really found that made my journey in school so much easier. I could always ask them for anything. Um, even at times last year of uncertainty, they were always there to look out for us and offer a helping hand. Technology as a subject is much more than just computers. In fact, you do not require much computer skills in order to succeed at the subject. Any basic skills you may require, you will learn while completing different projects throughout your course. Technology includes learning about the developments in our society today health and safety, energy conservation, different materials, future innovations, as well as a lot of practical work involving wood, plastic and metals will be introduced to you. You will develop skills which will most certainly help you to get to know the world we live in in more detail. At School Crease 3, we have a very active guidance and counselling department. Through a range of activities, we assist students make decisions that are suitable for them regarding their personal, social, educational and vocational development. As well as their MEHA leaders and class tutors, first years also have a specific pastoral care contact. This is a teacher that they can talk to in a confidential manner on a one-to-one -one basis about any issue or challenge that is facing them or that they come up against in their schooling. In addition to this as well, first years have a one-hour wellbeing class which is timetabled once per week. In this class, they engage with a range of relevant topics like internet safety, self-management and mindfulness. In fact, today our first years are attending a study skills seminar. I'm going to pass you over to Billy, a transition year student who became a member of the Wellbeing Committee as she started in first year. Over to you, Billy. Thank you, Miss Egan. As Miss Egan said, when I was in first year, I joined the Wellbeing Committee in order to pr spread positivity throughout school and make new friends. It was through the Wellbeing Committee that I became involved in the Webwise Youth Panel in order to promote online safety. This has given me so many opportunities, such as European panels, attending conferences, and most importantly, making new friends. It also gave me the knowledge that I needed in order to run successfully the campaign of Safer Internet Day in school. To do this, we run many fun yet educational activities with all the year groups every year. And overall, I'd definitely say that the Wellbeing Committee has been the highlight of my school experience so far. Why send your daughter to Skull Crease 3? In Skull Crease 3 we strive for excellence in learning and teaching. Our teachers are enthusiastic and innovative and encourage each girl to reach her academic potential. Learning outside the classroom is also highly valued in Skull Crease 3 and our teachers go above and beyond to offer a huge co-curricular and extracurricular programme to our students, as you will see for yourselves in the video. We aim to equip our girls to make a success of whatever path they choose in life and the motivation to help make the world a better place. I want to share with you this evening uh, all about our fantastic programmes we have here in Skull Crease 3. Firstly, the Transition Year programme, which was introduced into the school in the 90s. It has a very strong tradition here in the school. Our TY programme is energising, uplifting and is forever dated, so it is very, very fresh. Secondly, the Leaving Certificate Applied programme, which is offered here and has been offered here for the last few years. It is a programme 
that is an alternative to the traditional uh, Leaving Cert. It was introduced, as I said, a few years ago and we felt the need for the students. So it is of great benefit to the students in our school. And just to finish off, we are very proud of both programmes in our school. There is nothing more powerful than a woman standing up for what she believes in. Being determined, confident, resilient and ambitious, the female voice is often silenced, brushed and hushed away so the men at the table can talk, but not anymore. Here in Skullcree Street, the female voice is not only encouraged, it's taught. It's what sets our debating team apart from all of the rest. It's what defines our success. We will never settle until our voices are not only heard, but listened to. We have the ability to make real change with our voices, even if that means causing chaos first. Cahig may arrive with Gokdina in Bubble and Scholarship on Vodu or Janga or Goldtour August or Nairox at Karakun Kin. Thrown and Gwell Vratic Aaron, a Koopa Blean and Newis, Mark Yal, Erinir T. Tree Gwelga. Glockamy Port in Esporty Gwelga, Real Depression. Tugan Skull Cree Street, Winning and Sprod, August Spragadum, Mo Gwelga, Usad, Gokla. Uh, well, I've always found the school to be a very caring school, Teach both teachers and management alike. I've three girls in the school and another girl to come next year. Um, great relationship between the parents and the school, teachers and management. Oh, we always have at least two teachers and a deputy principal at our meetings. Your voice is always heard and everything that can be done is done to solve any problems that may arise. There's great communication between the parents and the teachers and the students. The Parents' Council are involved with the transition year, graduation and also the Leave and Start graduation. And this gives us a chance to meet a lot of the teachers and get more involved in the school. A great bond has developed between us all over the last few years. The Parents Council meetings are a great social element and it gets us to meet uh, parents of other children in the school. If an after school activity is not going ahead, a phone call is usually made home to the parents and there's great communication between the parents and the students and a great sense of care between everybody, so this is good. The school app is now updated and parents can send messages into the school to let them know if a child is sick or has an appointment. The fundraising we do is on the Parents' Council every year is a great uh, benefit to all our daughters in the school. Um, we've actually paid towards 15 benches this year for the school because of COVID-19 and all the regulations. We also give a lot of money to the library and helps buy books for the library. And we hold our AGM in October every year. An announcement for this year's AGM will be put on the school app and any parents that are interested can leave their email addresses with the school office and a, an invitation to a Teams meeting will be sent out. Hello, my name is Miss Kelly and I am one of two art teachers here in School Priestry in the Art Department. I've been enjoying every moment of teaching in School Priestry for the past 10 years. Art is called visual art and is one of the optional subjects that are on offer at School Peace Tree. This means students can choose to do visual art from first to third year for junior cycle and art and art history in fifth and sixth year for Leaving Cert. The art department encourages students to explore their creativity and imagination through many areas of art, craft and design projects. Students get to explore painting, observational drawing and imaginative drawing and in craft they get to make puppetry, lino printing, poster design and sculpture to name but a few. The art rooms are wonderfully creative environments. Students and artists are encouraged to express themselves through observational and imaginative work. Our school facilities for practical subjects are second to none. The two art rooms are a huge space with state-of-the-art equipment such as pottery wheels, a printing press and a kiln and a huge variety of art and craft materials as well as a computer station in both rooms. Art is so valued in our school because in this community we genuinely understand how much mental health is linked to self-reflection and self-expression. Across our practical subjects, students not only gain skills that will help them all through life, but they also explore who they are and who they are going to be in so many beautiful ways. For me, the way our girls engage with Junko Tour captivates so much about how creativity, team spirit and friendship blossoms in our school. The effort made by the creative teams is incredibly unique. The students are so dedicated and committed to having the opportunity to be involved in such an amazing project. We have entered the National Junker Tour competition eight years in a row now and are embarking on entering our ninth year this year. 
We have made it to the grand final in the three arena every year so far. The support of the entire school population is just so uplifting. Over 150 students have come to support the students at the live shows from across the year groups and on the night their presence and cheering and support makes the experience magical. Last year our creation The Truth Lies Within won the East Regional Trophy in the Grand Final in the Tree Arena in Dublin. In School Priestry we understand that education is so much more than what an exam result can ever tell and we constantly work at nurturing the creativity of our students. As teenagers their identity is emerging and changing. And as a school, we always encourage and guide them on this journey. I hope you all enjoyed your visit to Skull Crease 3. If any of you would like to visit Skull Crease 3 in person, please contact the main office for an appointment. Your next task is to complete the application form and submit it to us in the school office by Friday the 5th of November at 3pm. Thank you.